And that is the Romanian to get us underway. It's going to be so important for Kirstea after her serve to be ready and alert very quickly for that return because Rubakina is going to be so aggressive on both the first and second serve. So that first step after her serve is going to be have to be super quick. That's a good start. You can see her already getting ready, staying inside the baseline off that first serve. Both players just trying to get their radar switched on here. Stopping that for Keir Stey. That's a big slice of luck for Rybakina. That was good rallying from both players. And I like that Kirstea is already looking to not so much hit the ball so flat. She's looking for that good shape, that good height over the net. I think the, the flatter she goes, I think the more Rybakina will like that pace into the racket. That's a great combination and I already like the intention there from Kirstea because after that forehand was looking to come forward, knew she was in a very offensive position. Oh. And it's a huge chance for both these players. Since last fall, they started right after the U.S. Open last year, around October, a little bit of a month after the U.S. Open last year. one of those situations that I feel like Kirstea has the game. I feel like could beat Rabakina. So for her, it's just about having that belief to be able to consistently play strong points over and over again to get the win over Rabakina. We mentioned they've played each other a couple times. Rabakina has won both those encounters. But a lot of it comes down to trying to break down the rebuck in a serve, which is not easy to do. Oh, nice return. Up through the center of the court.
Oh, those light courts can be tricky. It just changes the rhythm yeah. on you. And that one just kind of died. So it really forced Rabakina to have to hit up. That was a tough one to control. Great movement and footwork from Rabakina. She can really set herself up so well with the backhand, and she prepares so early on that forehand side. She's got that backswing ready and prepared as she's moving. Just makes it a lot more secure. Up and running, Rabakina. Very much a threat at all the, the big tournaments now. This player puts herself in the conversation time and time again. There is her coach, Stefano Vukov. Quite chatty in the box. He is, is yeah. Stefano. Oh. I think he was probably a... Big adv advocate for the on-court coaching, yeah. I would say. <laughs> I think most people are. There are some players that actually don't like it, but there are a lot of um, players and coaches that are for it. They they think it's a, a it's a good move. off a couple of those forehands, Christea. Catching the tape. We can see Christea, even on that backhand, miss hit it a little bit because she was defending against the pace of her Bakina, but was just able to get her on the move enough to get the unforced error. Excellent serve. And after that let court, just a good job changing it up to the forehand side of Rabakina. Oh. That does well. Sarana Kirst there wriggles through that game. All on serve at this early stage. 2 1. Not too humid. It will get hotter over the weekend and into the early part of next week. Temperatures will certainly rise. Oh. 
bullseye. And that's what Kirstea is going to have to do is take those chances some, sometimes. I mean, she was so set up well. Look at how balanced she is to get ready for that forehand and followed through so well. Good acceleration. Just yet, Rabakina. Johansson once again working with Kristea. And, you know, and Kristea has mentioned a few times how much he's helped her and how much of an impact he's had on her game. That was very quick. It was a great get from Kirste on the full stretch on the forehand. Actually had an exceptional shot with this forehand slice. It was her only option. Kept it so low, but Rabakina did a great job of getting her legs down to that ball and got away from that ball nicely to create space to hit that one. on the door. You're rushing, no more rushing, yeah? Come on, come on. Patience. There is Stefano Vukov. <laughs> Just some words of advice for Rebakina. You're rushing, he says. Uh, rushing and just wanting her to have a little bit more patience and be willing to stay in the rally a little longer. Slips on by. Couple of chances. Jeez. I think Cristea rushed on that one actually. She had plenty of time and that ball maybe got a little higher than she was anticipating. So just didn't hit it that cleanly. Great depth from Kirstea. She prefers the backhand side too because those couple balls that came right down the center, she's not looking to run around to hit the forehand. She likes staying on that backhand side. She just can be so accurate from that backhand. Third chance now for the Romanian. Through Serana Kirstea is the one who breaks first. They're Three happy. Games. Games. <laughs> Keep on waving. There we go. <laughs> With some gusto. 
I think overall just a little bit more con consistent yeah. from Kirstea. Well, do stay connected to the US Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Join the conversation with hashtag US Open. A little spring in her step right now. doing a great job of really accelerating on those ground strokes from the very first game. Kirstea, as soon as she's gotten time to get stable and get set up for these balls, she's adding a little bit more weight behind her shot. Actually, a pretty good hit on the ball. Didn't miss it by much. Rubakina. Find a way, but because hitting hard from the middle, it's going to be difficult. Ona samo tebe drži. Come on, you can do it. You got to open up a little bit and go forward. It's okay. Don't worry. Try your best. He's doing our job for us, Jill. Positive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Well. well. Something needs to change for Rebecca because it's all Serana Kirstea at the moment. It's getting better and better. How's this for a lead? Four games to one. It's been a very solid set so far from Kirstea. I think that the thing Kirstea to me is doing very well right now is she's using the center of the court and that that can be a great play against some especially against someone that's so tall and likes to open up the court and Kirstea's taking that away from Rabakina. She's going two or three shots deep down the center and then when she gets the better opportunity then she's spreading the court and, and getting Rabakina on the move. right shot to go for and that, that middle ball can be so effective as long as you get it deep into the court because it's just harder to hit an angle from from that from that center ball I wasn't expecting that one to go so short. Rebecca, you can see her just hesitate with her movement forward to that ball. Just looks a little bit subdued here this evening. And she's always pretty understated character. Right. Don't get a huge amount from her. It's a spark of something. Do with more first serves. And I like that response. A little fist pump from Rabakina. 
she needed that one. She can take some positivity from this forehand winner. She got great extension with the arm there. That was great commitment as well on that one because Kirstea for sure Rabakina would have seen her moving in the same direction of that backhand cross court but Rabakina stayed with it nicely trusts her backhand so much that even if Kirstea got a racket on it she knew she was going to be in a good position. Stays in the hunts in this opening set. Does Rebecca needed that? Kirstia leads four games to two first set. Still just searching for that real rhythm. was a little bit of a miss hit from Rabakina, no. but just got a little height up on Kirstea. I don't feel like Kirstea needed to flatten that one out so much. Still go for that margin, that nice height over the net. Oh, that was better. Fantastic. Now, when you're pushed so far wide, you can get tempted to just go for broke and flatten that one out. But Cristea did a better job on, on the backhand side of getting that ball nice and deep. And then once you're able to take a couple steps inside the court, then that's the time to go for it, get more aggressive. Maybe that time flatten that one out. And she did a fantastic job there. Put away. She's hitting her spots well now yeah. off the ground, Kirstea. Just had Rebecca on the run. Once again, it's so clinical from Keir Steyer. What a performance she's putting together so far. And she is a game away from taking this opening set. Kirstea is playing a very solid first set, and she's the one dictating more the majority of the points. But if Rabakina can get that serve a little bit sharper, I mean, her first serve percentage is below 50, and that's going to be key for her to be able to turn either turn this first set around or start off the second much better. And that's already a first couple good points for Rabakina.
very business-like here tonight, Keir's day. She's been very focused from, from the first point. And already the first game showing some positive emotions. Yeah, clever touch. That could have been a little bit tricky because she was on her back foot and then had to move forward after that, but it was the exact right play from Rabakina. follow-up and to Rebecca and it says go on then if you want this set go get it yourself it was an excellent return it was actually a really good pickup from Rabakina just keeping that racket head in front and just bunting the ball back Serving nicely, Keir Steyer. Lost just one point behind first serve. And after just over half an hour played, it is set points to the Romanian. For a slightly bigger first serve, might as well at 40 love. Still have a little room. First double fault of the match. look on her face she has been in mean moods and the first set goes her way maybe a surprise brewing 6-3 here's some more advice from <laughs> her coach who's been pretty chatty from the sideline but yeah it's the serve for me that Rabakina has to improve right now 52 percent for serve percentage so that's got to get a little higher <laughs> Kriste has just been inside the baseline on every single second serve, and every single return has gone deep down the center of the court. That's been standard for her throughout that first set.
Well, the problems might just be mounting. Maybe this isn't just a, a bad start, it's turning into more than that. Good pickup. She needed that because she still was behind in the point. That was another good return for Kirstea. But Robakina did a good job of covering that one a little bit better. Still didn't seem like she hit it that cleanly, but she got away with that one. very impressive the longest rally of the match and during the point I was thinking okay this is the type of rally that Rabakina needs right now to get that rhythm just to stay patient throughout that rally but again it was Kirstea that took the first risk that really provided pressure on a couple of those forehands Sarana Kirstea, who continues on her merry way. First game what a performance game. she is putting together. Just keeps telling her to try one more, and I, I'm assuming that means stay a little bit more patient. That's something that he had said in the middle of the first set, be willing to play those longer rallies. Make her feel better. Away from her. Come on. Here you go. Play fast, step out. Be ready. Good job. Let's try. Good job. Well, I think we know who they're backing. There we go. Pocket of Romanian support. That was very good. I don't know if she actually meant it to be that good, but. <laughs> It was a pretty good serve, but just enough slice where it actually came into the racket of Rabakina, and she was able to just keep that backswing nice and short and blocked the pace back perfectly. No. Away that goes, and Rabakina maybe on the comeback charge. 15 and 14. That's just her willingness to defend and stay in that point, Rabakina. Because again, it was another rally that Kirstea was in control. It's good fighting from Rabakina. One of the break points in fine style. 13, Vicious angle. 
That's just brave tennis. Terms. It was a very smart point, too, from Rabakina on break chance because she stayed with the, the percentages. She stayed on the cross court in the forehand rally, stayed on the backhand rally cross court. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Come on, be smart. Stay positive all the time. Let's go. Come on. Change it up a bit, eh? Idemo, bistra serve. Maybe the chattiest coach around. I think so. <laughs> Too much needs to be said about that. That's just very handy to have in the back pocket. But it's been lacking that so far. That's what she needed, her serve starting to connect better with that toss, get the rhythm. hitting from the Kazakh. Elena Rabakina, well, she was a breakdown at uh, two games in a row, and we're back on serve. She leads the way. Rabakina oh. starting to up the pace a little bit off the ground just to a few more extra miles an hour. You can see it. She's just getting Kirstay a little bit more late on the ground strokes. Coach again talking between every point, and the last couple things he mentioned was just get the ball away from the center of the court, make Kirstea move. And at that time, it was Kirstea that took the first chance and really opened up the court well on that inside out backhand. And we're back at it at the other end of the court now, so she, she won't have the sort of running commentary from her coach. 
I just wonder what you make of that. I mean, it, it's a lot of talking. Some players perhaps wouldn't respond that well to it, but clearly she's okay with it. Yeah, I've never seen her get bothered by it because we know he is one that likes to talk and give her advice. So they've obviously have an understanding that it works for her and they've been working together for some time. So they know what works and what doesn't work, but she doesn't seem to be bothered by it. You can never tell with her though. She doesn't show much emotion. No. <laughs> Even when she won Wimbledon, it was a flicker of a smile. She had to work hard for that one. Robakina I, is starting to get a little bit better on the run. She's using that slice a little bit more to stay in the point. That was just good movement from Kirstea to cut that ball off. I feel like on this movement here, if, if she had gone backward even further, Kirstea would, I mean, uh, Robakina would have had to play on that volley. the court fighting fire with fire I mean there's a lot of power coming at her mm. but great counter punching Two games for second sets. Fireworks nearby at the baseball stadium. Oh. It's all happening tonight. It really is. <laughs> Friday night fireworks. There we go over City Field. There's a game there tonight. Great change up on the forehand from Robakina. We don't see her use that ball that often. She's it's the type of game where she hits so through the ball and a little bit flatter, but that time really did a good job of getting a heavier forehand up on Kirstea. It's a beautiful shot of the fireworks. Well, they did win the New York Mets, so maybe that's why the fireworks are there. <laughs> Would they do them if they lost? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Still going the fireworks. There we go. Probably five minutes in counting. There to be put away. And Kirst there, Julie obliges. Oh, she was very fast up to that ball. Four, two, two necessarily 
feel like she had an early read on that either. She was just so fast sprinting up forward to that. That is how close it was. It was quite a roar from it the was. crowd. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> Keeps her nose in front. Fireworks still going. It's 3 2, Rebecca. Really good redirection there from Christine. I mean, she had to pick that ball up on the rise. Somehow, just her hands were so good at being able to flick it right inside out to get Rabakina on the defense. Rabakina's coach, he's been saying, you know, get the ball out of the center of the court. And that, that's that been, to me, the difference of Christea winning that first match is she's the one that's been able to take that first ball and get Rabakina on the run. Rabakina's starting to get a little bit better in, that, in this second set of doing that. You heard it there. Steady hands. And that was the advice right there that everything doesn't have to be so 10 out of 10, so 100% as hard as she can hit the ball and, and with the type of style game that she plays that's her go-to style she just wants to hit everything with such pace and that time just changed it up put a little loft on that ball and got the error gets it pouncing on it Rebecca that Christa going for that body serve and it, it is a very good option against someone that is six feet tall, but that one just couldn't quite get into the body enough. So right in the strike zone. That's 
standing. Puts up the barricades. That was fantastic from Kirstea because she was really off balance and Rabakina was really stepping up and putting a ton of pace behind those backhands and just that slight change hitting that backhand down the line and she didn't go for the line. She kept her margins close, but it was just enough to put her in a great position. Unleashing on the backhand in particular. When you hit a good cross court ball, follow the ball. Follow the ball. No need to rush back straight away. She's playing shorter and shorter. Come on, then you can change direction. Great job. I died a Sahara shot. Super lane. Point by point. You got this. Time there, Serana Kirst there. That really was experience. The serve clock was ticking down. It used all her allotted time well. again just unloading I just feel like that the second serve it, it's tough because you already feel like you're going to be under pressure with how aggressive her bucking is but I feel like you got to go more body forehand I, I, she's trying to get into the body but I would stay away from the the backhand side in particular that one is a little bit stronger over Bakina unless you hit it that accurately I mean <laughs> twice she saved a break point with an ace. And both times out wide, really good placement from Kirstea. Almost ran into that one. Jose got herself jammed. I think Thomas Janssen's trying to give a bit of volume now. Battle of the coaches. <laughs> Here we go. Slipping through her fingers. Christea playing these break points exceptionally well. Just going toe to toe with Rabakina off the ground. Again, you can do it. 
lengthy game, important game in this second set. Redirecting that power so well. It was overall great composure, I think, from Kirstea, because break points down, you know your opponent is starting to play a little bit better. You can get into this stage where you might start rushing yourself, but as you mentioned, Mikey, she did a good job of taking her time. She was aware of the shot clock, kept looking up on it just to make sure she was not rushing. Did a great job, and Johansson on his feet. Unusual miss there for Rabakina. Another great get from Kirstea. And just these moments that Kirstea has been able to get her racket on the ball when she's been stretched so far, maybe just adding pressure there from Rabakina to try and get that last backhand maybe too perfect and just didn't get her feet. That ball ended up stopping a little bit. It was a more off pace slice. That was a great get with the return. Bachner taking some pace off that serve just to get the point started. She's fighting hard here, Rebecca. Now. 14, 15. Take your time. What's the clock? Let's go. Wait till 10. Wait till 10 seconds. What's the clock, Lena? Take your time. And she does it up again. Elena Rebecca. can feel that Rabakina is definitely starting to get more consistent when she's on the stretch. She's not going for broke on the shot. She's willing to loft that ball, stay in the rally. 
And Christea has just got to pick and choose when to be aggressive. It's another good pickup, a good redirection from Christea. She's done so well to deal with the power that's coming. Got to keep that focus, that level. Great chance for a, a big, big win here, Kirstea. Neither player has been to the fourth round here at the US Open. It's a big chance. So it was 40 15, so it is game for Kirstea. So four all in the second. And you mentioned this could be a big win. She's had a few. Mm top five wins already this year. Kirstea, a couple in Miami in April where she got to the semifinals of that WTA 1000. She beat Garcia and Sabalenka to get to the semifinals. Also beat Garcia and Indian Wells also. Away. Place from Rabakina. It's the same pattern of point that put Kriste in such good position in that first set, that deep down the middle of the ball, but that time Rabakina just set up a little bit better for that forehand, didn't hesitate. What a strike. And those last two points, so much of Rabakina, you could tell she was just going confidently to those couple shots. Just the way she approached the ball without hesitation. Double faults of the match for Rabakina. Big point here.
gets it safely. Such a good change up from Kirstea. Just two balls, so very different. Just changed up the, up the rhythm on Rabakina. A chance. Well, it wasn't nice. a big second nice. serve that from Rebecca. Nice. It's really gutsy stuff. Well, she keeps on finding a way to get in front. 5-4 she leads. So there's still action around the grounds here on Armstrong, over on Ash as well. A certain Novak Djokovic up against a, a compatriot in Laszlo Gera. whole match Kirstea on the ad side she loves that out wide serve love to flatten that out it's been pretty accurate with hitting that spot Solid game at a pressure stage of this contest. Oh. Oh. Until that double fault. First of the set for Kirstea. Big 
booming serve, that did the trick. And she can breathe again. I mean, that was so smart. Even if your opponent knows that's your best serve, because that's been one that she's just consistently going for, it's still putting her in a good position. And I think Rabakina probably knew that one was coming, but she still got an easy response, a, a put away shot. Really smart to go for that serve in that moment. on her feet. I was actually surprised to see Rabakina come forward to, to the Love net the on that shot because it, it wasn't the best approach shot. I mean, it had some depth to it, but it I think she would have liked to have spread the court a little bit more. Kristea didn't have to take that many steps to hit that first pass and dip that to the feet of Rabakina. Just a slight heavier a kick on that serve. Christea having to hit it above her shoulders, and it's so hard to time that well enough to get good depth, and Rabakin is stepping in, taking that next one early. Outstanding. That was the perfect shot because Kirsteo actually was just sprinting completely forward. Didn't stop her momentum and then she got caught having to circle around and cover so much court. It's not coming back. 30, 30. She just picked her spot well in advance of what she was going to do with this return. Is this set going to go all the way? It might just. Oh. Oh, that's Kristea. She was a little off balance there, but that's her trying to get it to the forehand side of Rabakina.
Just dialed in here, Rabakina. Couple of points away from taking this to a third set. Slightly behind her, Brockina losing control of the forehand. from Rebecca. Each and every shot was perfect. 17, 14. That was a great point. Great scrambling from Kirstea, but that first volley was exceptional from Rebecca. Just the touch to be able to get that angle and immediately covering down the line. It is a set point. Dominating the longer rallies as the Romanian. But off her first serve, she's doing an exceptional job of understanding maybe the shot Rebakin is going for because her coverage on that first ball has been exceptional. Just scrambling a bit here, Kirstea. Rebakina intent on getting this over the line before a breaker is needed. I just feel so tempted to go for that when you're pulled so far into the doubles alley. Second set point for Rabakina.
Such a calm exterior. <laughs> Rebecca and I just wonder what's going on inside her mind right now. Fends this one off as well. I almost feel like on the big points, Rockina needs to take that out wide serve away from Kirstea. Just inch a little bit to the left. Don't give her that favorite serve of hers. Yeah, it's perfect. Another lengthy game. says let's have a breakup. Grits her teeth. Sees off a couple of set points. Did a great job of not rushing that short ball. Stayed so low and his great calmness on that short ball from Rabakina. striking from Rebecca and two two back to back two just deep in the corner Kristea has been overall defending pretty well against those shots but just a little extra pace behind that last one She has a grip of this breaker. Now we know full well the fighting qualities Kirstea possesses. Just been really calm in this tiebreak, Rabakina. Not trying to overplay. She's not rushing herself with the footwork, just really taking her time on every single stroke. For Kirstea. 
something to build on. with the cushion, just the two points. I just love the way she carries herself, Rebecca. There's a quiet confidence about her game. And look at that, tie-break record outstanding when it comes to the pressure moments this year. 13 win, four defeats. Seal in the house. Loves his tennis. <laughs> he was here earlier this week as well. Hello. <laughs> that backhand must have just been on the line. Excellent margin throughout that point, right from the return from her stay up. It's a big serve here. Oh. Maybe just thought about it a little bit too much on that one. Christea had so much time on that return been a few times she's lifted off on that ball and she's motioning herself to swing through that, accelerate through that shot. That extra accel acceleration actually provides more safety. Another really good long rally, and Christea set it up perfectly, just caught it inside her body a little bit and had to pull off that backhand. <laughs> Headed hands for some fans. <laughs> set points again. Goes again. Five. 
but she'll have another one. Bravo, bravo. It's okay. Next point. Next point. Just think about the next point. The most important point is the next point. Right? Don't worry about what happened. Let's go. What a set this has been. there but she sees up another set point that is gutsy and so solid from Kirstea did not back down and went after it I change ends six all Whew. Tough to call which way this is going to go. Will Rebecca be thinking about the four set points that have come and gone? Or like the champion she is, just put that to one side and conjure up another. And she's got a resolute Romanian at the other end. Sensational from Rabakina. Great ball striking from the ground. And what a reach here on this backhand. Good close at the net. And seriously, Kirstea is making her play so much good tennis right now. What scrambling. Set point and again. Mistake. What a cool customer. And here at Armstrong, we are going all the way. Underneath the Friday night lights. We haven't seen that that often. Kirstea has been the one that's been continuously going to the open court and good to incorporate back footing. Rabakina caught her going in the wrong direction. Oh. 
two hours played between these two. That's important for Saranakis there, just somewhat steadies the ship. Turn from Kirstea. I like that she went after that forehand. Again, just occasionally hitting that one too flat when she's on her back foot. But like the aggressive mindset on that one. Simple volley into the net, and the early break does go the way of Kirstea. 
Oh, a couple unusual mistakes from Rabakina. Forehand foul. I'm not quite sure what happened there. She took her eye off the ball and then was pretty careful on this backhand swing volley. Didn't look sure her sure of herself on that one either, and was so open on the volley. Her shoulders were so facing the net, just rushing that volley. Kirsten is looking very assured. Excellent depth. Got up to that one nicely, Rabakina. Third double fault for Kirstea. Kirstea now has gotten Urbakina little bit flustered we talking about how we don't see much emotion from her but there's been a couple times in this first few games already that she just that look of concern on her face To the hands from Rabakina. This could get here from Kirstea. And this ball, you have to be able to, to whip through because you're leaving that entire down the line open. So you got to make sure you get a lot of pace on that ball. Great use of the wrist there on the backhand. going to be a few more twists and turns on this Friday night. It's a break back point. Outstanding from Rebecca now. Just up in the ante at the right time. And this one back on serve. Where next, everybody?
Uh, it's a shot she wanted, though. She set it up perfectly with a previous backhand, that, that heavy backhand that just pushed Rebuckina back. That's the one she should be aggressive on, and she was just motioning that she just didn't miss it by much. Defending now on Rabakina's side. Kristea in control at that point. I was waiting for Kristea to take maybe one of those shots behind Rabakina, which worked so well in the in the previous game. <laughs> Someone spotted the camera. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. No rush. Don't swing your goal forward. Eh? Let's go. The winner of this one will take on Belinda Bencic in round four. Bencic a winner tonight as well in her third round encounter. Three sets needed for Bencic. Let's get past Linju. Coach of Rabakina just consistently repeating almost the same phrase to her, just consistently saying to slow down and, and be patient. And you can occasionally see it in the rally, she's wanting to almost overpower Kristea. And Kristea has been rock solid against that pace. Goes Kit Stay absolutely determined here. Chatting away to herself. Drought, but it was the right choice to take that ball out of the air. Felt like there was a, almost like a slight hesitation, but did, did a good job of getting up enough on that ball. to everything. 
And that one hurts. Oh, what an excellent point and such good gets from both players how Kirstey was able to get that full reach on the stretch on the forehand a few shots ago was just outstanding and then that's the perfect play going behind Rabakina. She's caught her leaning the wrong way a few times now. Can she keep her cool and just find a solid service hold here? Oh, a couple of points for Kristea to, to break Rabakina. We could see Rabakina, her hands on her knees, just potentially could have gotten a little bit tired defending on that previous point because these first couple returns the way she's sort of stretched at them didn't look that energetic. Vukov trying to find the right words. Oh. He's not sure what to say. Oh. Serana Kirsten oh. is just looking a class apart now. It might soon be party time on this Friday night. Oof. Can she apply the finishing touches? Really has to dig deep here. Outstanding. That's amazing. Three good points in a row on this serve for Rabakina. Backward on that second serve. She was already a couple feet behind the baseline after hitting that serve.
Three strong points, three loose errors from Robakina. Deuce. So from Love 40 back to Deuce. You can see her just pull up at the last second on that backhand. Still too much for some fans, but oh, they could be celebrating soon. Carefully dealt with. Wakey, wakey. Two and a half hours played here. Can Rebecca just tough this one out? Still hope. And it's taking a lot out of her. Four games to two. Fun sets. Nearly joining those fans in the front row. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm surprised to see her all of a sudden just sit down. <laughs> just needed a moment. <laughs> so difficult it shouldn't seem like it should be difficult to make that adjustment but it just can catch you by surprise changes the rhythm just got to keep those feet moving in those situations it's a good idea stay hydrated
Nervy moments for the coaches. stretch having to go over the higher part of the net it's a little bit more challenging great power hitting from Rubakina Fighting hard here. Expression unchanged. Not being that clinical on the break points. Rebecca says not so fast. Well, they're loving it here. <laughs> just consistently telling herself to focus. That's a good play, that deep one cross court. Just keep targeting that forehand side. That's the one where she's getting more unforced errors from Rabakina. from Rabakina and great job from Kirstea. This one just not a ton on it and just sat there in the middle of the court for Kirstea to attack. Looks like she has more energy. So do they. Three break points to see off.
forced the breakthrough late in this deciding set. And Keir Steyer will step to the line to try and close this out. It's just super solid from Kirstea. It's such a big moment in this match. You can see Rabakina almost trying too hard to open up the court and try and get into these rallies, but it's been Kirstea that's just looked more sure of herself off the ground in that game. The perfect start. Turn was so short it forced Kirstea to come forward, but maybe not just doing enough with that approach. Getting her blocking at the target. Points at the moment is hard fought. Grand Slam champion after all. That was such good gets throughout that point too from Kirstea, but just rock solid in moment in a moment where you felt like Rabakina maybe wasn't feeling that great with spraying a couple balls and all of a sudden comes up with a, one of her best points this set. Great point, Rebecca. The number four seed refusing to quit. What a change up. She's been going for the out wide serve on big points the majority of the time. What a time to change that up down the tee.
Again, it's a beauty of a backhand. fighting spirit a twist in this tale Another great redirection, and sometimes it looks like Kirste is not going to be in great position, but somehow she's able to just angle that ball off the court. That time surprising Rabakina. <laughs> what a serve to fight. Kiss there. She's woken up now. Rock and roll tennis from the Romanian. Sorana Kirstea into the fourth round here in New York for the very first time. 
as she takes out the number four seed under the Friday night lights. As we approach midnight. And his smiles all round for Serana. What a win. And what a night for her. The best part of three hours needed.